click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to the subject electromagnetic field theory. We are with chapter number 8 that is magnetic forces, materials and inductance. The chapter title is having three terms. The first term magnetic forces we are already covered with where we have seen the force exerted because of the presence of magnetic field onto a moving charge. Thereupon we came to know that if a charge is not in motion that time magnetic field will not exert any kind of force when it is in motion only then only it will be exerted by certain amount of force. Further we know that flow of charges is nothing but a current. So the second topic we discussed that was force on a differential current element and finally we reach to the force and torque onto a closed circuit. When the flow of current form a loop that time we said it is nothing but a closed circuit of current and thereupon the rotational type of force that is torque also we have seen. So based on these three topics we have solved several problem statements also and further we started with the second term of the title that is materials more specifically magnetic materials. The information regarding the magnetism exhibited by magnetic materials is because of the dipole moment and thereupon we have seen magnetic dipole moment, the magnetization and further magnetic susceptibility and permeability of the material. So based on this concept let us take problem number one. The problem statement here we have in a magnetic material find magnetic field intensity for we have three parts a b c in part a mod of m bar is equal to 150 ampere per meter and mu is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 henry per meter in part b we have b given by 300 micro tesla and magnetic susceptibility equal to 15 whereas in last part we have 8.2 into 10 raised to the power 28 atoms per meter cube and each atom has a dipole moment of 5 into 10 raised to power minus 27 ampere meter square and mu r is equal to 30. So this is our problem statement. We are given enough information and we are asked to find magnetic field intensity. We know that magnetic field is characterized by the two major vector quantities that are magnetic field intensity and magnetic flux density. So if any one of them is known to us we can get the second one. Here in this problem we are asked the only one magnetic field intensity in vector symbol form we represent h bar. So hence h bar is equal to what this is the question into the problem number one. So what is the given data into this particular problem statement? So the given data vary into part A, B and C. In part A, we are provided mod of M bar. So capital M represents magnetization. We have already seen into the previous video that magnetization is the total dipole moment for the material given with respect to the volume. So magnitude of magnetization is given to us that is 150 ampere per meter. We know the relationship between magnetic field intensity and the magnetization with the help of magnetic susceptibility. But magnetic susceptibility is not given to us whereas we are given mu is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 Henry per meter. So as unit Henry per meter is there it means it is permeability of the material under consideration. Permeability of the medium or material what we say is the permissibility of the material to the passage of magnetism through it. So given magnetization magnitude and permeability we are here asked to calculate magnetic field intensity. So that we will see first of all into the A part. In part B, we are given simply the magnitude of magnetic flux density. So B bar represents generally the vector form of magnetic flux density. We are given the magnitude and this represents magnetic susceptibility. How much a material can be magnetized by the application of external magnetic field. So it is very much simple if we are provided magnitude of magnetic flux density because we know the relation 
between magnetic flux density and magnetic field intensity from the previous chapter. And in the last part, that is part C, we are first of all given 8.2 into 10 to the power 28 atoms per meter cube, which is the concentration of atoms. So using the concentration of atoms and the dipole moment value in ampere meter square, we can have the multiplication and find out the magnetization because magnetization is total dipole moment with respect to the volume of the material. So we can get back to the magnetization and we are provided with relative permeability of the medium. So upon multiplication of these two values, we can get it to the form that is of part A. So let us begin to solve this problem starting from part A. So for part A, I mentioned here that is mod of m bar is given to us that is 150 ampere per meter. So along with magnitude of magnetization, we have another quantity given that is permeability of the medium given by mu and it has the value 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 Henry per meter and the question is what is magnetic field intensity h bar is equal to what? So now for determination of h bar that is magnetic field intensity we know the relation from the previous video that h bar is given by magnetization vector divided by magnetic susceptibility. Now we have the numerator magnitude, but we don't have the magnetic susceptibility. So magnetic susceptibility in terms of permeability is also known to us. So that value we can determine with the help of formula magnetic susceptibility given by mu r minus one. So mu r is the relative permeability of the medium, whereas we are provided the complete permeability of the material. So here we convert mu r in terms of permeability of the medium and permeability of free space. So we shall be writing it mu upon mu zero because we know the relation mu is equal to mu zero times mu r. So mu r will be mu upon mu zero minus one as it is. Mu is given to us. So it has the value 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 Henry per meter whereas mu zero is the constant value that we have used from the class chapter that is four pi into 10 to the power minus seven minus one it will be here so upon having the simple multiplication division and the subtraction the magnetic susceptibility for the given values we obtain that is 10.9366 so here magnetic susceptibility we can use to the previous equation to obtain magnetic field intensity the magnitude of magnetization was already with us so if we put the magnitude here we can get the magnitude of magnetic field intensity so the denominator magnetic susceptibility we have to put that is 10.9366 so we have both the values to get magnetic field intensity in this case so let us substitute and get the answer so the answer will be h will be given by in the magnitude it will be 150 into the numerator divided by 10.9366 which will give us h is equal to 13.7153 or we can represent it by mod of h bar. So with the given details we are now able to get only the magnitude of magnetic field intensity and that has this particular value. We have to put the unit here. So magnetic field intensity magnitude will always be represented in terms of ampere per meter. If it would be the electric field intensity, so it will be in terms of volts per meter. Magnetic field intensity and electric field intensity gives us information regarding the strength of magnetic field and electric field correspondingly. So this is the answer to part A. So we come back to the problem statement number one. So here we complete part A, we have h value so mod of h bar that we have determined and it has this value 13.1753 so now we begin to solve magnetic field intensity for part b so here we are provided magnetic flux density magnitude b and magnetic susceptibility so part b here we can mention the given values capital b is equal to 300 
micro tesla either the unit for magnetic flux density is given in terms of tesla or we can mention weber per meter square the second given value is magnetic susceptibility and here in this case it is given 15 10.936 was the determined value into part a here we have different given values now the same question arises what is h or moreover mod of h bar is what magnetic field intensity so for that purpose first of all we try to use the relation that is b bar is equal to mu times h bar as h is unknown we take it on to the left hand side so h bar will become b bar upon mu so mu in terms of magnetic susceptibility we can get it to the form the rhs will be b bar upon mu initially we can write in terms of mu zero into mu r and mu r in terms of magnetic susceptibility we can write h bar onto the left hand side as it is b bar in the numerator as it is mu zero as it is and mu r we shall be writing it magnetic susceptibility plus one so this in turn gives us the magnitude of magnetic field intensity by this relation i take mod to both the sides here so this will become this form of equation now mod of b bar is known to us that is 300 micro tesla micro is equal to 10 to power minus 6 we shall put here mu 0 is a constant value that we have used in the previous portion that also we can substitute magnetic susceptibility is also given to us and one is also a constant so substituting the values we get it 300 into 10 raised to power of minus 6 divided by mu 0 we can substitute 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 in the bracket magnetic susceptibility 15 plus 1 so this simple multiplication division shall get us the magnitude of magnetic field intensity to the value it will be 14.9207 so as this is magnitude of magnetic field intensity we have to give the unit so that will be ampere per meter so it becomes 14.9207 ampere per meter so this is the required answer for part b we get back to the problem statement here we were provided magnetic flux density magnitude and magnetic susceptibility here i can mention mod of p bar Okay, so this also we are finished with the mod of h bar we have determined with the value 14.9207 ampere per meter. So we have covered two portions here. The last part is left behind. So let us begin to solve for part C. Part C we are given the concentration of atoms and the dipole moment for each atom along with the relative permeability of the medium. So part C we can write first of all we measure uh, we mention the dipole moment the dipole moment we denote small m bar it is also a vector quantity here we are provided 5 into 10 raised to power minus 27 ampere meter square dipole moment is the multiplication of current and the squared area that has been taken into the closed path while having uh, the journey so here it is basically a vector quantity but as the direction is not given i can put mod to the m bar so small m bar represents the dipole moment whereas capital m bar represents magnetization it is total dipole moment upon the volume here so this is one given quantity the concentration of atoms we can denote by small n and it has the value 8.2 into 10 raised to power 28 atoms per meter cube so these are the two values along with the third one that is relative permeability mu r given by 30 and the question is mod of h bar is equal to what so for that purpose we use the same relation that we have done into the part a so h bar is given by magnetization vector divided by magnetic susceptibility so here we don't have magnetic susceptibility directly so we shall be writing magnetic susceptibility in terms of relative permeability of the medium so here we can mention m bar divided by 
in terms of uh, relative permeability we shall write mu r minus 1 so now whether we have capital m bar we don't have we have small m bar magnitude so first of all m bar is equal to what that is the question so m bar is magnetization for the whole material it is the total dipole moment so when we multiply total number of atoms per meter cube with the magnetic dipole moment we shall obtain the total magnetization so first of all we do the multiplication here and obtain the magnitude of magnetization it is given by n into magnitude of dipole moment so n is equal to 8.2 into 10 raised to power 28 multiplied by dipole moment phi u into 10 raised to power minus 27 which gives us the answer 410 so 410 we have to substitute into the numerator of this equation that value we have now mu r that value is already given hence we can determine the magnitude of magnetic field intensity i give mod to each and every vector variable here so to the next step we get mod of h bar equal to in the numerator it will be 410 divided by in the denominator we have in bracket 30 relative permeability of the medium minus 1. So this calculation gives us the value 14.1379. So as this is magnitude of magnetic field intensity, the unit must be current per unit length. So it is h bar mod given by 14.1379 ampere per meter. So I outline the required result for the part C of the problem statement. Getting back to the problem statement, we were provided the concentration, dipole moment and relative permeability. With these given values, magnetic field intensity we have determined and it has this particular value. So I hope you have understood calculation of magnetic field intensity when magnetization permeability are given to us or in the case magnetic flux density and magnetic susceptibility are given to us. In the next video, we are going to take the next problem based on to the concept of magnetization and permeability. For getting more information to the subject electromagnetic field theory, you can subscribe to EKEDA channel. Thank you.